Hi Kings and Queens, welcome to another episode on the Claim It The Difference podcast. Today is going to be a bit different and it is testimony time. Alright, so today I'm going to be sharing with you a few testimonies from the month of September. So hopefully we'll be getting to do this more on this channel. I really don't know yet, I'm not promising, but has a lot leads. Okay, so while I was in the room just like preparing to do some things and the likes i've always had it in mind that we are going to be having like a testimony time on this channel but then because of self-doubt and so many other things i said that i was going to do it and maybe scrap it out so i was preparing another video already um from the last seminar we had on the community difference so that was supposed to like be the video I'll be uploading when you see this but then god said i should do this particular video and here i am i'm doing it because god said and why not because it is also something i've always wanted to do and god proved to me that i had this back so we're going to be doing this today so please stay tuned and stay connected till the end so but today we're talking on some of the amazing things that god did for me for my brand for me shy in general in the month of september all right um the month of september started with a lot of heaviness fear pain and a lot of things sha i was draining within me and a lot of things was going on with me but i really had no one to share with so i was just on my own a couple of facts that i was always at home I had nowhere to go to and i'm just with my younger brother so we just like enjoy ourselves talk when my younger brother were like best besties so we just talk and like that so but then every other thing were bothering me i had projects to write i had seminar coming up and also it was my utmost desire to like put up my first YouTube video on the first of september but it didn't work out so I just said that, okay, I'm going to upload my first YouTube video after the seminar. All right, so let's start with the seminar and how everything went. I'm super, 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 super grateful to God because God actually did this. All right, so the seminar was slated for the 19th of September. Guys, if you ever think I didn't want to cancel this seminar, raise up your hand. <laughs> Anyways, I actually wanted to so many times. I wanted to say, can I just not do this? And the legs had a lot of concern with people listening. Will I get like enough audience even listen to what I had to say? And the legs, but then I had this backup from God. Was it that he's a no? But a lot was going on within me. So I just like decided that each of the times that I had the doubt, I I try to distract myself away from it. So I actually started preparing for my for this particular seminar that happened on the 19th since August. I could remember then I asked my audience that okay, what would they like me to talk about? If there's any topic I would talk about, what would they like to get from me? So I gave them several options and I picked the one with the highest demand, and that was navigating preparation, prayer, staying true to your value in an hypersexualized culture. So this seminar, Earth God's Glory, held on the 19th of September, and God did it. For me, it's a big dream come true. <laughs> Sincerely, it's a very big dream come true, because if I can remember vividly, I've always wanted seminars to be part of the podcast channel. And last year, I also wanted to hold a seminar on the September of last year, but once it led to the order, I couldn't do that because I was not really consistent with um, uploading videos um, audios on my podcast so i decided that i was going to be much more consistent this year and so that i'll be able to like put in this stuff all right so that went and then this year came a lot of this discouragement actually came my way but then i said no this seminar we are going to do it and god did it you know it was even more of god bringing it to my remembrance that we are supposed to do this particular thing so we did it 
I'm happy the flyer came out. Shout out to my other brother. He was the one that helped me the flyer. Like the way God just did it, like everything began to work. I reached out to my moderator, my friend, Fraser Kinkumi Press. Thank you so much. Yeah, I told her about it and like it was a whole lot. Press is a writer and she's a blogger, God's Dear Princess. So if you don't know her yet, please check out God's Dear Princess on Facebook on Instagram too, so you'll find that out there. Yeah, so I reached out to her and she gave the best support. Yeah, she like we had time to talk and then I told her that I would like her to be my moderator and she did not object. So we moved on and I reached out to my elder brother too to help me with a flyer. He did and we started. So the journey had already started. I had already started putting out the flyer so I could not like even go back on my words. So it was that way. For her glory to God, the seminar day came. Uh, I can remember before then I felt there was a need for me to humble myself before God because I know that the topic I'll be talking about is a whole lot of challenges for teenagers and young adults. So I humbled myself before God telling him that this I cannot do by myself, that he should help me. Guys, this big dream came true. <laughs> it was too huge for me to um absorb. It was too huge for me to carry. So then I it happened the night like we spent over four hours and we still had people that were like intentional about staying so it was that way and it started and it ended that night guys the most intriguing part or the most interesting part for me was when people started to ask their questions and i'm like holy spirit i cannot do this <laughs> but then god did it the question and answer sections were a lot like those questions were more than me but the holy spirit did not leave me so all thanks to god i'm super 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 grateful for that then come the youtube thing i wanted my youtube to um come to live on the first of september but i just couldn't upload videos why because of the so many discouragement i was having within myself and the self-doubt and everything and also coupled with the fact that i was preparing for seminar and the like so i opened my channel since around august and it has been there <laughs> guys I put them my first YouTube shorts. I think that should be around September or August. I can't recollect. And then I uploaded my first YouTube video way long before you saw it. So it was in private because I was just so scared. I didn't have. I, I just feel like is it going to be worth the wash? But then, oh thanks to God, <laughs> guys, it came with a lot of energy from you people, from so many people. Hi, if you're here and you're watching me for the first time, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am Favor Fayomi. You can check my first video to know more about me and welcome to Call Me to the Friends Podcast. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you. I love you already, you know that too. Thank you for coming back to listen to me. So it's the gratitude day in the morning. Yeah, so I was talking about YouTube, had a lot of like, don't do it, do it, and like so. But thank God I was able to open my youtube channel like how these dreams are coming into play gradually is just too much that i can bear god is faithful and this is me telling everyone out there that is finding it hard to do one thing or the other that whenever god gives you a go ahead please do not hesitate can you go ahead like it will back you up and, and it will give you the right support all right so that's that on the youtube all right so the third testimony here would be my relationship with god i could remember that i entered the month of september and i was feeling perhaps about my relationship with god so i wrote in my quiet time notes my journal and i was telling to god that god i really want to get things better with you i want to like be much more disciplined and this i think this i think happens to me whenever i'm at home i just feel so relaxed but this time around i didn't want to be in that particular box so i was telling god that i want something better and something good guys was it easy no so because i had a lot on me and god kept saying you are giving too much that i should feed well i should feed myself so then I started working on it. It got strength. I can say we are getting better. I have not gotten to the height I really want to be, but I can say that God has been faithful. There's a big difference between first of September and now. Like it's a whole lot. It can only be God. God is a good God. God is super, super, super good. Someone says verse one is that sound that has so stood out for us in my family. 
and if you can actually take your time to read through and relate it to your life you know that god is actually good right just take out and think of all of the bad times and the good times one thing i've come to know discover especially during the time i was having the ups and down the pain in the month of september the pain the fear and everything in the month of september i saw that it was god using all of these things for my own good god is sovereign and he does everything to work together for our good i don't know if somebody is there listening to me and you are feeling perhaps you are just not feeling the right vibe is to feel i've come to tell you that they all things are working together for the good of them that love god and if you love god you can be sure that god is making everything to work together for your good and also god is super super good <laughs> god is so good like i cannot overemphasize this but god is good now let's move to the last aspect of this testimony it's my life god my family and everything enjoy as we conclude lastly i want to thank god for my life <laughs> sincerely if i did not okay i was thinking yesterday that the matter of sleeping and waking up like is a whole lot it's god that wakes us up if god chooses not to wake us up tomorrow we'll not be able to question him so i'm grateful <laughs> i'm grateful for my family for my friends for the support that i've been getting from people in these last few days has been a lot i'm very grateful and i'm also grateful to god that i was able to submit my chapter one chapter one of my project guys if you know what i went through mm. but i'm grateful to god this month is a whole lot of like things to be grateful for a whole lot of things like thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus all right so i hope that somebody has listened up until this point and then you have various reasons to appreciate god this is me encouraging you to just think back on things that god has done for you and also thank him there's a saying there's a saying that he that thinks will think so just think about it sometimes we are carried away by the so much big big things that we tell god to do for us and it is not like coming to pass in our lives yeah but what about the little things let them count like let them count think of where you're coming from and where god has brought you to the very fact that you're the very fact that you are still existing like is a whole lot thank you jesus thank you lord thank you lord and i pray that everyone that is looking up to god for one thing or the other the lord will in his infinite mercy bring it to pass for every one of us in jesus name amen all right so i look forward to going back to school and i really don't know how recording videos in school is going to look like but i'm hoping that i'll be able to keep up with school activities and recording videos all right and i also want to appreciate everyone that watched my first video thank you so much <laughs> Thank you so, 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 so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right. So please do well to subscribe, like, and share this video with as many persons that needs to see it. Let us thank God together. And I also want to say happy new month to you in advance. All right. Also, please come back to watch. The seminar replay will be up next week by God's grace. So you have a lot to binge on on this channel. Mm? come back to watch don't forget always come back to watch on this channel you enjoy every bit of it trust me <laughs> all right so on this note i'm going to call it a wrap thank you so much for joining me and staying connected on this video see you later see you later <laughs> bye